Hello everyone, Lawrence here at Happy Bike Days, a mountain bike testing event in Belgium. I'm here with the Cannondale Jackal 1, you can also get the Jackal 2 and of course a frame only version which is awesome to see. This bike right here is in the MD frame size which is actually for people 162 to 175 centimeters. I'm 184 so this bike was a little bit undersized for me. Another thing is there's very limited time on these testing events so the rear shock was a bit soft as well. It actually took two mechanics just to set sag and it was still a bit off. So this little bottom protector should probably come off before you start messing with your shock settings. Other than that, it's a virtual high pivot bike. I'm quite familiar with the P-Train by now, which is a single pivot, high pivot. This is a virtual high pivot, again, with an idler. You get some very nice spec on this bike, although this bike wasn't completely stock, especially the tires were not the asset guys that are listed on the Cannondale product page. I'm not used to these Goodyear tires, but they felt okay, although it makes judging the climbing performance of this bike a little bit more difficult. I also have to say the rear derailleur wasn't set up perfectly. The top limit screw was off a little bit and I actually had the chain go over top of the cassette, snapping off a tooth in the process. So I can't really say too much about how it climbs, but it is a fairly light bike given that it's 165 millimeters of travel in the rear and 170 in the front. The bike climbs okay, but you gotta keep in mind, this is an enduro race bike, not a cross country bike, and you're gonna have to work for those descents when you're going up the climb. Now, when you finally do get to a descent, and there are a couple of really short descents on this test track, although these are like black trails, they're not super amazing. Uh, it's mostly very rough, chattery, loose stone sort of trails with some very short corners that I'm, you know, using questionable technique to get myself around. Um, but the bike felt incredibly plush. I think plush is, if you had to describe the Jekyll one in one word, plush. And yes, that is helped a little bit by basically the suspension being set up a bit too soft for me but it was so smooth going over all these loose rocks and there was a lot of grip especially in the front end despite the rear being too soft and the front being pretty much spot on there was a lot of grip in the front so it's not too aggressive on the geometry uh, but i was undersized by one size and it didn't feel too horrible which means that reach numbers are probably fine again i only had this bike for like half an hour so i can't really do a detailed review on this it's more like first impressions and first impressions on the jackal one were definitely good now if i knew the trail a bit better i would probably jump this straight into the photographer instead of acting like a snail going down these little trails here but the bike is and i hate to say this confidence inspiring mostly because there's just so much grip if there is another enduro race this year i would love to actually do it on the jackal one uh, maybe I should have bought the frame set instead of my P-Train, although I do definitely love my P-Train. This is more of a mass production, although it's a very niche market, but the Jekyll 1, great bike. I can definitely recommend it, but I really want to get more testing in before I, I say go ahead and buy this over anything else. But no main problems that I've found and very nice, comfortable, but fast bike. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. But if you want to see more detailed reviews, let me know in the comments so I can use that information to go to these brands and ask for a slightly longer term test bike. Thank you very much for watching.